guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a first impressions video on the brand new The Balm Cosmetics bronzers. I am so excited to be talking about these because I was actually on the hunt for some new bronzers. I was looking all over the websites. I was eyeing some of the new Anastasia bronzers and then I was also eyeing these. I was eyeing the whole anti-orange thing because mama cannot deal with an orange bronzer. So I was like, these are screaming my name. And then I was so fortunate and excited that the Bomb Cosmetics reached out to me to ask me if I was interested in receiving a package from them with these bronzers and I literally was so stoked. I was like, oh my God, they know me. Like they like found me somewhere and decided to reach out to me. So I was so excited that they were planning on sending this to me. No, this video is not sponsored. I'm not getting paid to be making this video. These are my truthful, honest opinions. And I'm just excited that I got the opportunity to try these out. Um, these will be launching March 7th, so stay tuned for that. And these also retail for $17.50, which isn't bad compared to the Anastasia Beverly Hills that are a little bit more expensive, $28 a pop. If you guys want to know my thoughts, then please continue watching and you guys can find out how these are looking on the skin because I will show you a full-blown demo and I will spill some tea on these. So keep watching. Okay, so when you guys open them up, they look like this, and they're not orange whatsoever, which is always a really good thing. Now, this is the lightest one, and what color is this in? Oscar? This one's in Oscar, and this one would be very nice for my ladies that have more fair skin, as you can see how nicely pigmented that is, and I will be using this as well myself because I like to kind of build up bronzer. And then this one is Tony, and I like how it's like a little book. It's so cute. This one's Tony, and I think this one will probably suit me the best for my complexion. And then the darkest one is the color Gram E. That's so funny. It literally says Gram and then E, but it, like Grammy, it's so cute. I'm, I'm so corny, but it's so cute. I'm loving how they do that. I'm gonna be taking my KKW Beauty bronzing brush. I really like to use this brush to bronze up because it just, I don't know, I just feel like it, it works really well with my face. So first we're gonna bronze up our forehead. That's where I like to start off when I'm doing my bronzer. And we're just gonna take it up here just a little bit. And the reason I don't like to go, the color that I would go for contour on my forehead is because I don't want my forehead to look much. I want it to have a subtle color that is a little bit darker than my actual foundation, but that you can still see that there's dimension in the face which is why I feel like it's so good to have a shade like this, even if you're my complexion, because you can use that to kind of blend it out with your foundation around your forehead, so it kind of like snatches your forehead inward. I have a big head, like that's just me, um, and I just kind of like to do that because I feel like it kind of makes my head look a little bit more structured and a little bit smaller. So. As you can see, it's not too noticeable on me, but it definitely makes a difference, especially if you're up close. You can see that there's a little bit of warmth around the face, so that's why I always like to bring out a more lighter shade than my actual contouring shade. And we're also gonna take this shade, the lightest shade that we're using right now, and we're gonna be applying that down here, and that's just gonna be a nice guide to kind of snatch our double chin because, you know, we like to eat sometimes and we gain a little bit of weight sometimes. So sometimes you gotta use makeup, the power of the makeup to kind of snatch this and make it look a little bit more defined. Um, and then the next thing we're gonna do is we are going to take both of these bronzers right here, both of these guys. I know this one's probably scaring you guys if you're around my complexion because you're probably like, girl, that's probably gonna be too dark on you. but. I have learned this little trick where I like to take the tip of my angled brush. I always like to use an angled brush to do my contour on my cheeks because I like the fact that it has that angle so it kind of builds upward on that contour. Um, but we're just gonna take the very tip of it and we're gonna take a little bit of that darker shade and we're going to add that more darker shade just in the beginning part of your contour like this. As you can see, do you see how it starts to build up a little bit? You like chisel it out a little bit, just the tip. I actually like the shade. 
and it blends really easily. I'm all about that quick blending, which is why I'm so picky with my bronzers because I really like to make sure that they're gonna do the job and not take away my foundation because it's just gonna add more time onto the time that I take to get ready. So as you can see, you can even just use this darkest one and it will definitely look nice if you like more of that intense um, contour. But we're gonna go ahead and take the middle shade, which is Tony, and we are just going to take a little bit more and what I like to do once I chisel out the tip of it, I like to go ahead and just kind of bounce it. Because I feel like bouncing it puts the product in, it stamps it in with the angle brush, but it also makes it look more natural than having a really, really carved out intense contour. I feel like I've moved away from really intense contour. I just feel like it's not for me anymore. Um, so I like to do something subtle where you can still see the snatched contour, but it's not going all the way down here. It's crazy what a difference bronzing up makes. Like just even doing something really subtle can make the biggest difference. And also I feel like a lot of times um, bronzers, the issue with bronzers and why people are so scared of them is because they feel like they're just gonna be applying it and it's gonna look muddy or too orange. But these, looks so nice on the skin. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to contour my nose just a little bit. I feel like for me, I always like to do that because I feel like it makes a really big difference for me. And just snatch my nose on the sides and then I like to use this Kylie brush which is from the old collection, not her new collection of like expensive ass brushes. This is from an old collection that I bought in the holidays. And I'm gonna be taking the lightest shade just to give me that very subtle um, contour. These do have a little bit of kickback. I feel like when there's a little bit of kickback, that means that these are super pigmented and nice. So let's go ahead. And then I like to take a little bit of my Morphe sponge, which has a little bit of foundation, and kind of blend out the contour. Just so that it doesn't give me too much intensity in there. And then I'm just going to take a little bit more on this side. I just really follow kind of like where my nose, like this bone is right here. I just kind of follow that wherever the um, bone is of my nose. And that's where I usually like to draw the lines. And I feel like it makes it more prominent and it kind of like snatches it up just the touch, which I am always very grateful for. Love it. I think that's the perfect shade to contour your nose. You never want to use anything that's too, too warm to contour your nose because then it's going to look so obvious. Um, I made that mistake many times, but I feel like with the nose contour for me, I lived it and I've learned it and I feel like I finally kind of got the hang of the right color that would look nice and suitable for my nose and not kind of look so intense. And that's why I like to go in with a shade that's a little bit closer to the color of my skin so that I can kind of work with it easier. And then I always like to go back in and like I said, take my Morphe sponge, which I use for foundation and kind of blend out the contour in case I feel like it's a little too strong for my taste and it always works. So now for highlighter, I'm gonna be taking my little Luminizer Sisters, the Luminizer Sisters, which I got, I think I purchased this like three or four months ago and I was just looking for Mary Luminizer but they didn't have it by itself at the time and i was like oh my god i really really want it and so i went ahead and just figured i would purchase this one with three colors and i really like the fact that they have like a nice like kind of like pinkish one and then they have this really pretty bronzy one which i have used as eyeshadow and it looks phenomenal but the mary luminizer was such a popular one and i was always like oh my god why do i not have this highlight when like everybody's raved about it and their mother. And you guys know that I love highlights. Yes, Mary Luminizer come through. Oh my God, I love this. I'm feeling myself now. It's Isn't it crazy how much of a difference it makes when you see yourself like kind of like bronzed out, warmed up as opposed to with nothing on. Like when you guys first saw me, I was like looking at myself in the viewfinder like girl, put some bronze around, but I'm like, wait, you need to hold on because you're gonna show them how you do this. So I really am liking this a lot. I feel like it looks fantastic. Okay, so now I'm ready to share my final thoughts. So I think that these bronzers look incredible on the skin. I'm really excited about how good they wore and just how like 
fantastic they went on. I feel like that's a big thing for me. If it starts to look muddy or breaking apart or blotchy, I'm just like, mm, I can't talk about this. But when it looks really nice, and you guys literally saw it. You guys saw it go on and it just looked great to perfection. All the colors were very nicely done. I feel like they're all very wearable. You could always pair them up together or by themselves. They look all fantastic. They're all very pigmented bronzers, so that's always a good thing. These do retail for $17.50, which I personally think is a really, really good price because a lot of bronzers that are more of like a well-known high-end brand are between like 28 to like 30 something dollars. So I think this is a really good price and I think you get quite a good amount of product which is always something that I strive to look for in a bronzer because I have been using bronzers a lot lately. I feel like without bronzer, you just look so one dimensional like I mentioned already. So I think that's awesome. These will go on sale on the Bombs website on March 7th. So get ready for that launch because I think this is definitely something that you should be picking up. Now I know some of you guys asked me about the Anastasia Beverly Hills and I have tried like some of their like contour sticks and like some of their bronzing shades and I think that they're good but I also saw like this selection of the colors and I just feel like they were really too cool for me or like too dark for my liking and they are a little bit more expensive than the bomb one so I was like do I need to stay my budget or do I need to like go out and buy something that's like a little bit more intense so that's why I was really excited to talk about the now I do quickly want to say I um, was planning on filming this look today and I happened to go on um, my Instagram page and see that the Bomb Cosmetics was advertising their huge sale that they're going to have tomorrow, which is Monday, from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So my time, it'll be a little bit later, I think maybe like 1 or 2 because I live on the East Coast. Um, but basically, everything is going to be 50% off. When I saw it, I was like, girl, you need to go and get the Meat Matchmaker palette because this is what I'm wearing my eyes and I've been obsessed with it. Also, I am a huge fan and I talked about this last year, but I'm a huge fan of the Meat Matte Nude palette. I went ahead and bought this um, at my local Cosmoprof. It's like a place for cosmetologists. And I literally have been using this all the time. I use this white shade all the time for eyeshadow and these are great transitions in color. So I was like... They need to buy this. So if there's anything you need to pick up from the Bomb Cosmetics, definitely pick up these two palettes, Meat Matte Schmaker and Meat Matte Nude. Having them for 50% off is going to be a really good deal. And also, I would really recommend trying out the Mary Luminizer because that color, as you guys saw, if you guys haven't, because I know, I'm sure you guys have, because it's a very popular highlighter, but if you haven't, definitely get your hands on those three items because I'm telling you, you will get some looks like these and I don't want you guys to miss it. So that's something to look out for. And I was like, oh my God, this is God telling me that this is the right video to film today because just knowing that I can, you know, let you guys know about a sale because you guys know I always like to hook you guys up with the best reviews and the best like deals because I know it's tough out here we need to work hard for our money so if we can save some pennies when buying makeup something that's our guilty pleasure then I will definitely let you know when there's sales so stay tuned for that sale tomorrow from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. 50% off. So that being said, this is the end of the video. I hope that you guys learned a little bit something about how I like to bronze my face and also a little bit something of these new bronzers by The Bomb Cosmetics, which I am so stoked about. They look bomb and I'm just ready to go out and slay right now. Um, so that being said, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed watching it. And if you guys want to see more videos, more reviews, more tutorials, more tutorials using the Matchmaker palette, then please let me know and I will be sure to do that ASAP. Um, if you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe because I wouldn't want you guys to miss this fun ride that we have going on here. And you guys know I always hook you guys up, always. I'm always here for you guys. You guys are my number one and you guys are the best riders. So I will be seeing you guys very, very soon for a brand new video. Bye guys.